Guys, it is May 11th, 2021, and I just got my email confirmation saying that I drew my Utah Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep. I am so freaking pumped to get this thing rolling. I cannot wait to start hitting the hills and to start looking for sheep. It's going to be a good time and a good year. So here we go. Let's go get this done. What's up everybody? It is May 14th. It is officially my first scouting trip since I have found out that I've drew out for sheep. It's 4.30 in the morning right now and I am on my way down to see if I can turn up some rams. This is going to be the first of many trips. Um, super pumped. Cannot wait to see what I turn up. Hopefully I can find some rams that I'm super pumped about and start making a hit list. And hopefully I can get some sweet video to show you guys. But uh, I say let's get it rolling, let's get started, and hope you guys enjoy all this video footage that I'm gonna get over the next few months. Here we go. On September 18th at 7.51 a.m., all those scouting trips paid off when I laid my eyes on the ram they called AR-22. I immediately fell in love with this giant, and he instantly earned the number one spot on the hit list. I spent the rest of my scouting trips focusing on AR-22, and each time I laid my eyes on him, he took my breath away. Well, here we go, headed down to sheep camp. I've got less than a week until my hunt starts, and I am super pumped. I have spent so much time down on this unit to learn the unit and to find the best ram possible, and I have a stud ram they call AR-22 that is number one on my hit list. And so I will continue to hunt him until he is dead from either me or one of the other tag holders. But I'm super pumped, have a lot of people come down to help, 
So here we go. Wish me luck. Good morning, guys. I am in my camper trailer. Just woke up and getting ready. It is October 30th, opening morning of my Rocky Mountain Bighorn sheep hunt. I can't freaking wait. I'm stoked. I have about 15 to 20 people coming down to help me this morning to see if we can't locate him because we haven't been able to find my number one ram, which is AR-22. We haven't seen him for a few days. So hopefully with a bunch of us down here, we can spread out. And turn him up but i'm pumped i can't believe it's finally here i've put in so much time and it's here so stay with us hopefully we can turn him up hopefully we'll have some action here we go it's opening morning we got ram located <laughs> kip and clint we're probably about 900 yards from him probably maybe but we don't know where he's at. He's up there somewhere. Might only be 50. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go get it done, though, hopefully. Hey. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, just thought I'd give you guys an update on how the sheep hunt is going. It is day number two right now. Um, let me give you a playback of what happened on day number one. Um, we found the ram that we wanted, um, hiked up this nasty stuff, got in position. We were 623 yards. We debated on not shooting him because he was in a nasty spot and we were worried about getting him out, but we decided to take the shot and for some reason I shot over the top of him and I've made that shot a million times but it's the way it goes he booked it out of there um, I was worried about my gun because I did slip on it on the way up there so we came back down laid back down shot it a few times and it was on so um, wasn't the gun it must have been me and uh, went up into another spot um, to see if we could relocate him last night seen a ram, but it wasn't him and We know the other hunters are close by watching so we got out of there and Now we're here and the other hunter is in the spot where I shot from yesterday and his buddies are in the spot Where we went last night, so So we're trying to turn him up. We got a couple hours less left of light. Hopefully we can turn him up um, we will see what happens um, and then hopefully we can kill him tomorrow but we'll see I will keep you updated wish me luck well, there's the end of day number two seen some rams but not the one I'm looking for so seen a lot of sheep but no luck hopefully I'll have a little bit better luck tomorrow this road is bumpy as crap but uh, I'll keep you updated what we see tomorrow Hopefully we can turn up the big one. So we will see. Well, it's day number three. I'm just leaving the gas station. I'm gonna go back to camp and get me some lunch. But this morning, I seen lots of ewes and small rams. The big rams haven't showed up yet, but hopefully they will this week. Um, the other hunter's leaving, I think, tomorrow. So hopefully the big rams will start showing up when he's gone so I got him to myself but we'll see I can only hope I'm still searching for my number one ram I haven't even started looking for my number two or number three yet because I know the number one is still alive so I got plenty of time but I would like to get it done sooner rather than later I think my family's ready for me to get it done as well so hopefully this week 
but I will keep you posted and keep you updated on what we see tonight. I'm going to go back and have a late, late breakfast. So I'll keep you posted. So that afternoon around 2 o'clock, we relocated AR-22. He was bedded down at the very top of this nasty rugged peak. My dad, Todd, and BJ was going to stay back and keep tabs on him while Shane and I made our way up through some of the toughest terrain I have ever hiked. With only 10 minutes left of shooting light, AR-22 finally gave us the shot opportunity we were looking for. I want to thank my dad, Ralph Spencer, and my brothers, Eric, Kip, and Clint Spencer. I also want to thank Todd Adams, Heber Aldridge, Shane Reed, Mike Speary, Daryl, Andrew, and Mason Spencer, BJ Hopkin, John and Grant Gagan, Corey Higgins, and Chase Perry. And I especially wanted to thank my wife and kids for the huge sacrifices made so I could fulfill a lifelong dream of harvesting such a magnificent animal. Definitely a hunt I will cherish forever. What's up everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. Just wanted to jump on here real quick and thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this hunt as much as I did. It will be a hunt that I cherish for the rest of my life and will never forget. So thank you guys so much for the support. It means a lot to me, but until next time, we'll catch you on the next hunt. See you then.